Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tsarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading for July 23rd to July 29th, 2018. So that being said guys, <clears throat> four cards spread for Virgos. Now the first card shows up the topic of their week, this is going to be the Empress. Then the second, the second card this represents the core of the situation for Virgos, this is going to be the Page of Swords. Then we do have challenges that you need to overcome, that is going to be the Temperance card and the last one which is uh, the guidance that you should follow, this is going to be the Ace of Swords. So that reading uh, specifically takes place for those who have children, alright? And for what it seems there will be a, a kind of like lack, it's not even a lack of synergy but let's say that you're a child or a person that you are taking care of, alright? It's kind of doesn't want to listen so it's all about that. We and it will be very difficult for you Virgos to be able to exert your opinion and actually to establish structure there. This plate here with the temperance next to the page of swords it does look like that this person highly disapproves what you are telling them and this is because they don't see a reason behind it. That's very important. Not because they don't want to listen to you all right. Not because they um they know better but because they don't see the reason behind it and that usually happens when for example a parent let's uh, let's say that way a parent just uh, kind of bruise their um their opinion without explaining it for example uh, let's say that your kid likes to watch tv late at night but you don't want them to do that that being said you uh, you make them not to watch TV with the prerequisite that they are going to be grounded afterwards without even explaining them why they should not watch TV late at night so it all comes to explanations and this is shown here with the ace of swords guys uh, as a, a guidance card points that you have to reveal the reasons behind what you're trying to make that person to do that could be as well a Apprentice into your uh, into your career, right? That could be a person assigned to you to learn and to study, and um, you know uh, when you ask them to do something without explaining why they should do that, they could oppose you uh, severely. And with these cards, they could even go to the uh, upper level of the of the hierarchy here. They could go directly to your boss, saying that uh, you know uh, you're not doing your job correctly, etc., etc. And the bottom line here is is that they're going to do that because you haven't explained them why they should do a, a specific thing. It's all it all comes to expl uh, explanations. It's really about that and. If you take the time, you know, to uh, explain to your children, or if you take the time to explain to your um, to to the people that you know, or to the person, should I say, who is assigned to you, or the person who is following you, why certain things needs to be done in a certain way, then you are going to face much more. Um, it's not even an appreciation, but understanding, should I say, and that person will try to listen and will try to do the things your way, just so you, just so they can see, is it. Um, is it the right way to be done or not? Uh, the topic here that we do have, that will be the Empress card, which points that you will have to as well take certain decisions, and these decisions will involve that person which you need to teach, alright? So it's about teaching, and it is about uh, basically preparing them to face life on their own. So yeah, it's, it's someone that is kind of like, uh, that you have to take care of, alright? It could be as well an, an, an elder parent, who um, it's it's so old that uh, you know that they cannot take care for themselves any longer, and by you not explaining your moves and you not not explaining you know the reasons behind your actions are making them even more insubordinate, which is something that makes your life much more difficult. So here it is what you need to take a, a standpoint. And now the topic of the week, the Empress. You need to take the standpoint of a a loving mother or. Uh, a mother which always, you know, uh, how can I place it, with all, which always do what is best for their children, ready to make a sacrifice for them, but in the same time is explaining, um, you know, why things need to be done in a certain way in the long run, because this is also about a, um, a planning, all right? It's also about taking decisions, and this is the decision you need to make here, guys, which is going to have a... Um, a an uh, outlook for a, a quite long term here. Should you bruise yourself 
or should you be much more gentle with your approach and much more explanatory uh, with your words? Now you need to know that the result of your decision, either good or bad, is going to be, to be reaped further into the future, regardless are you liking it or not. But the uh, advice here with the Temperance card is to be, uh, and with the Ace of Swords, is to be much more milder. And of course, as we do have an Ace of Swords into a um, guidance position speaks that you always need to say the truth even if that that will hurt the person from the other side they will be able to heal from it and take a an adequate uh, precautionary measures for whatever they want to do uh, instead of if you bury the truth they may kind of highly disappoint themselves further into the future which will reflect upon you as well because obviously you do care for that person either your child apprentice in your job or elder parent etc etc or a very good friend of yours so that being said Virgos this was your weekly tarot reading for July 23rd to July 29 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you are interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video Rat signing out now see you next time bye